time I left there, uh, I was probably pretty well committed to her, but I didn't know it, neither did she. He started writing me, sending me all of his money, which I took to mean that something was cooking. <laughs> Girls gotta eat. Something was cooking in Europe, too. Hitler's war machine. Oh, Hitler. Sam desperately needed fighter pilots. He was offering boat rides to Europe. Went over on the Queen Elizabeth. The whole group along with about a total of 25,000 people on that thing. And uh, we left in ships and ate in ships. And, and the airmen heaved their cookies and ships. And That's a farmer's hand. Yes, we're going to I was told that by a man from India reading my hands once. People say I've got long fingers, but I turn around, I'm like, no, I don't. But I've got a, a farmer's hand. This is, this is the strength to deal with the land that comes from this. Or you can just walk into the imaginary world and look at that. Got something from a place I used to work. After I'd worked there, tell me what it is I was going to do. And I'm like, I didn't even work for you anymore. It reminds me of when I was 17 and joined the army under a note from my parents saying, it's okay. Ah. And then I would get threatening letters from the... Uh, what do they call it? Like, I wanted to call it the Secret Service. I wanted to call it Social Service. I, I want I, Social Security. It's it's from the uh, that thing you have to sign up at 18. Just to let them know you're 18. They make you sign up for that. And they will punish you if you don't. In case you need to be drafted. I, 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 wow, I lost the name of it. But it's that draft service thing that you're supposed to do at 18. They sent me a threatening letter saying, if I don't sign up for the draft, I'm going to get arrested. I'm like, you. they sent it to my unit, the 307th Engineer Battalion, 82nd Airborne Division. Where do you think I'm fucking living? I wouldn't have an address like this even if it was my dad that was in it so they threatened me with that but then on the outside look uh, uh, I write you are the chalice and the child comes to you in a fervor of malice you take a 17 year old kid that's already been through basic training, jump school, all that shit, and is in a permanent party, ready for war, which he would go to in a short time. And you threaten him? Wow. Bail out. Chuck Yeager's talking about having parachute malfunctions. I did too. That's why I'm still there. Jaeger Meister, Master Hunter, Red Bull, Old Bull, Stadi Bick, Spanish, Mike Polish. But then you get this, you get the caps, they're sending me from 666 Dundee Road, Northbrook, Illinois. I get a letter from... Walt Disney Pictures. Look at that. I had eight hours regular time, uh, like two or three hours. 
two hours of uh, overtime of three. Basic wage, two, um, double time. For 13 hours altogether, I made $72.74 coming home from being on a Disney movie called Flubber, which was released on my birthday. Look at that. So that, I, I think I did the math earlier. I, I'm finding this stuff. I'm putting things away, you know. There are some things that don't need to be around forever. I'm putting them away and I'm looking at them. I think I made $6 an hour working for Disney. And I bet you a dollar of that that they would never admit to having paid me. Doesn't look good to have Judas on your side. And then under that thing, there's a, oh, this is, where is it on there? It says San Jose State. It doesn't. It would probably be the state of California. But, uh, like three hours worth of work. This is when I got to pose naked for a class. At that point, there were, at my 10 year reunion, I had rumors that I was getting from everybody that I was a radical, I was a revolutionary. I was, uh, I was a stripper, one of the things they said. And I'm like, hey, where did these people come up with this stuff? Just because I disappeared, you gotta have a story? And by the end of the night, here I am, I am a rock a queen. And I beat you once for honey, you've been obscene. Here I am, you're like a queen. Once, but I get up around 11, I sit on stage around 9. That old man, he's a real motherfucker, I'm gonna kick him on down the line. I suppose, I suppose I forgot I was supposed to be naked. Oh, get a look. Take it. Oh, you want to lose weight? Stop doing cardio. But so I was working for Air Freight, which I ended up being a Plainside representative. I was a guy on the airfield fucking... When the time came that the people didn't show up, I'd just walk out and I'd go, come on in! And I'd go, gun, gun, gun. I, I could call planes in, I'd look at all this shit and fucking they'd want to keep me off the plane wisely enough because ah, you want me fucking things up. But so at the time I was working air freight at 11.85 an hour, I found out, you know, that uh, I could make money being naked. My mother even thought I was a stripper. She'd ask me something about it once on the phone. I'm like, no. And then this thing comes up. You can make, uh, was it 10.30 an hour or something like that? Uh, 10.50 an hour it was. You could make just sitting there naked. So I decided I was taking a day off work. Well, not the whole day, just the first three hours. I took a pay cut to sit naked in front of a bunch of people for a classroom. And the funny thing, I'm sitting there, I walked in, I'm like, they're, they're like, you can, and I said, okay, I had a little robe thing. And I went and I sat out in front of all these people. I took my pants off and I'm like, ah, this is weird. I'm not used to showing strangers my dick for more than 20 minutes at a time and uh, I sat down in the chair and I'm sitting there and everything was just fine people are you can hear them painting you can hear them cleaning you can hear them painting and then this girl showed up in late she was late 
and she sat down like, here's the thing. Like a doctor says, I've seen it before. A nurse says she's seen it before. A artist says I've seen it before. I found it interesting that the whole front row of the people, artists that were painting for their class were the middle-aged women. They got right up there. They're like, I'm going to get some of this. So for me to think, uh, you've seen it before? Well, I guess the end part of that statement, I've seen it before, must be, but I don't mind seeing it again because it was all the old women. They sat right in the front row and they were like, ah, ah. and I'm sitting there and like about five, ten minutes late, this girl comes in and she sat right down behind them, right in the place that I was looking because I had to sit for fucking... It turns out an hour and a half, a break, and then another hour and a half. I had to sit in this chair, totally naked. You, you know how bashful I am. Um, that girl sat right where I was looking out the window over there. And she had big boobs. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm trying not to, but she was right in my line and I'm, I'm just in a place. And I could feel something crawling up my leg. I was just drifting off into meditation, but I could feel something crawling up my leg. And I said, what is that? And I realized, oh my gosh, I've gotten a three-quarter erection. Mm. If you can put it this way, I've got a full-on chubby and it's growing and I'm like and I'm not moving and I, all of a sudden I heard everything in the whole room stop everybody could see I was on the move oh, and I'm like I'm not getting up and running out I know people get up and run out on things like this but I'm like I'm not getting up and running out I'm gonna sit here and I'm sitting there and I didn't move but if they looked at my eyes they could see me focus and I was like just think about the paper I have to fucking finish next week just think about and I started trying to think about just things other than my erection things other than myself and e, uh, the thing is in that quiet all of a sudden, people started cleaning their brushes. I could hear clack, 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 clack. I knew everybody was looking. And then once I got it to go back down, I was able to focus on the tree outside again, and they were waking me up saying, hey, 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 time for a break. I'm like, huh? I meditated naturally into a place where I was just gone. I was asleep. I could hear somebody way off in the distance saying, I think he's asleep. And my eyes were open. I was awake, but I was meditative. And I came, I mean, what are you going to do for an hour and a half, three hours? And uh, so then they showed the pictures afterwards of what people drew. And it looked pretty good. And there was like this Asian girl, I'm guessing she was Chinese. She just had a picture of my calf. That's all she painted because, um, well, you know, respectfully, don't look, I'm hideous. And I got to check for that. Got to be naked in front of a bunch of people. And after I came back in from smoking my cigarette, took my robe right back off and sat in the chair at, after the break time. And I, I just sat there and there were like people walking around and talking to me and I'm sitting there talking to them. And it's just like, uh, there is no other, no better way to be than naked. Mm. 
so Jaeger got permission to return to his squadron and began flying so, missions again. So I got paid which is what he was doing by the Trump. University of California System, State Universities. I've done all these things and uh, for some reason they're not trying to figure out where I am anymore. I know I lost it, but it, there was a point. You heard it.